What's going on everybody? Super Saiyan Paul here back at it again. Dragon Ball Super episode 130 has been finalized and it's been out now so I wanted to be talking about what we've all seen and witnessed from our boy Jiren. So if, before we get into the video guys, we're going to be talking about everything that just happened in Dragon Ball Super 130, mainly regarding Jiren. And then on top of that we're going to be talking about 131 spoilers as well as movie stuff if anything. So make sure you guys click off if you guys don't want to be spoiled as to that, if you guys don't want to join in the discussion. If you guys are going to stick around, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, as well as turn on notifications to be updated every time we upload a discussion, gameplay, and whatnot, information and news on movies, and anything regarding Dragon Ball Super. Anyway, here we go. So like I said before guys, Jiren to me, he was a very cardboard thin character and a lot of people agreed with me on that because of the fact that we only got a very very small section of his personality through that flashback episode. It wasn't even the full episode, it was for a brief few moments and a lot of people didn't like that because Jiren, even though Akira Toriyama which was just revealed in an interview as to him being designed in a strong silent type character, it still doesn't forgive the fact that this is the like the least amount of character characterization we've ever gotten one he's not that fully fleshed out and compared to every other dragon ball main villain or bad guy or rival he is the least fleshed out character his motives for fighting are still like vague and everything and the reason why he continues to fight it still kind of sucks and then not only that a lot of people loved Jiren at the beginning because the hype train was there and yes it was at the very beginning of the tournament I can agree 100% the hype train for Jiren was real especially moments where he took out Kale with only a blast and things of this nature that really hyped him up and I was hoping to see more in through like what what caused him into becoming this creature that he is and this monster that he is and on top of that I wanted to see what his wish was gonna be but in episode 130, we only had a certain amount of time for him to get any characterization through, and they had to utilize this through his fighting. And I think the, one of the things that I really liked about this episode was they did a lot of storytelling through the eyes. And I think that's best that's the best way they could have possibly done it, because using their eyes, they did this for both Jiren and Master Roshi, and a bit technically Krillin because I think he was like um, talking about some of the flashbacks, but when they were telling the story through their eyes, it tells you a lot about the character, what they're thinking in that instance, and what's connecting with them in that, like, moment of view. And Jiren, he had flashbacks back to what he was thinking about, where it showed a lot of his character of him being alone, and trying to convince Goku that it's, well, it wasn't re really trying to convince him, he was just trying to, like, preach on deaf ears here that... Goku, you need to be alone to become your strongest because these people around you will make you weak. And here is where we got probably the most characterization through Jiren without having to go into any of his backstory. Jiren in two key instances did some of the worst things I've ever seen in Dragon Ball. And, and I mean not like in terms of like bad things in the show, I mean like the worst things as a character. And this made me like him even, dislike him even more because like... Jiren, after everything, everybody was calling him a good guy, this and that. Now he's following less than, less than a cardboard thin character and less than that for me because he tried to attack the stands. Now this wasn't exactly for the right reason because if you guys remember, Majin Vegeta did the exact same thing, but... Majin Vegeta did it for the reason as in he wanted to attempt to lure Goku into a fight. Goku is very, very... Um, stagnant on that fact that he did not want to fight Vegeta. He want, didn't want to do this right now, even though Vegeta knew at the time that this was the last that he had back. And like after seven years of torturing himself, it made sense for them to fight now because it's something about Saiyans, it's something about their pride, something about their honor. It all added up to their character. Here, this just just take this takes away from Jiren's character because it's like okay, you just try to attack the stands, you try to kill everyone in there, and I don't think he would have gotten disqualified from it because technically they're not in the ring anymore they're not technically in the fight but he might have killed all the god of destructions or some or the couple of or maybe even like <clears throat> most of his um, most of the youth fighters in there and i don't necessarily think he would kill the angels or anything like that but if he had killed them i don't necessarily see him getting disqualified for that because they're out of the ring at that tournament at that point in the tournament so it doesn't necessarily make sense for them to do that but it's still a low ball move for him to go and try to attack the stands and make goku jump out of the way for him to go and do that it's really low stuff coming from jiren right now even if he's in a desperate point of time people were pointing out also the fact that jiren who was getting beat down came out of nowhere with this massive power buff and even still then he was still holding his own against Master Ultra Instinct. Now, with that being said, 
Mastered Ultra Instinct was still dominating the fight. Mastered Ultra Instinct com completely wiped the floor of Jiren. The only thing that stopped it from happening was that the fact that it took too much god power toll on Goku's body, so it just ran out. Another key moment of Jiren's character, other than him trying to attack the audience, and I technically you can also count the flashback through his eyes, was it's a major moment, because remember back in 129 when we got the smirk in his face, like when he was like, yes, Goku's stronger and all of these things. We didn't necessarily see that in this episode, and what we got here was that when Goku was down on the floor, Goku was getting all of the, like, the power sapped from him because of all the toll that was taken on his body. What he did was that instead of just waiting for Goku to heal up or anything, he gets up, listens to Belmod's orders, and actually tries to eliminate Goku, and almost succeeds if it wasn't for Frieza and Seventeen jumping in at the end there. Because he attacked Goku while he was down. And now if you compare this to one of the characters that was very similar to Hit, going back earlier in Dragon Ball Super, directly after the resurrection of Ark, the character that was most alike Hit in terms- I mean, not- J ah, wow, I just gave it away. The character that was most alike Jiren was Hit because their characters were very unique. Strong, silent type in the back who was waiting until the very end to fight everyone. Hit had way more honor than Jiren did, and not only that, Hit never tried to attack the audience like that, and he was limiting himself in terms of trying to kill his opponents. He was doing everything as possible to stay as honorable as he possibly could, and still kind of seems off like he's coming off as a good guy because he's an assassin of things of these nature. And I think Hit's a, a more of a good guy than Jiren at this point in time, and I think, honestly, in terms of honor and the like, likability of the character, Hit su supersedes Jiren. The only thing that Jiren beats him in is power scaling, and that's not even fair to say because that's just because he came along later in the plot. I think Hit was way, way, way more well done than Jiren. Jiren doesn't necessarily have enough time to be fleshed out, but what we've seen here is that through the storytelling that they managed to pull off in episode 130, Jiren is lesser than less than less than of a fighter. He's just like complete garbage in my books and on top of that, not only was his development garbage, his power scaling is garbage compared to Goku now. On top of that, like his, yo, just his characterization and the things he did in this episode gives you a feel of what he is. Yes, he was a lonely character. Yes, he was kind of broken. Yes, he's pulling a Sasuke, but at the same time, Goku is whooping you and he's using the power of friendship, like he's using the power of Yu-Gi-Oh and all of this good stuff. So at the same time, you can't really defend Jiren at all here because he's clearly losing and the power of friendship is beating him. And him being alone doesn't necessarily justify that because, I mean, yeah, he was lonely for most of his life. But at the same time, why do you fight? What's your purpose for fighting other than getting strong and not wanting to see what happened in the past happen again? You have to be fighting to protect something, and even this part of his character falls flat, because even though he's a Sasuke type of Naruto character, Sasuke had a really good reason for fighting, and that was to honor the image of his brother, who had given it all just for him to survive. That's what made that arc so good, that's what made that bond between those characters so good, and what justified Sasuke's reason for going rogue. Jiren, however, just sounds like a big crybaby, and I, I can't believe people would actually consider him the Taguro of Dragon Ball Super. I wouldn't necessarily call him Taguro from Yu Yu Hakusho, because Taguro actually had a bond with Yusuke Urameshi in Yu Yu Hakusho, and it was a father figure role. Here, Jiren's not a good influence, Jiren's getting fodderized technically from Master Ultra Instinct, but he's still a beast regardless in terms of power scaling, it's just that... It's just complete convenience in terms of his power, like he just got all this extra energy that he could have used to wipe everyone out at the very end here for no reason. And not only that, he's low enough to just try and attack people while they're down, people while they can't fight. Jiren went from being an honorable fighter, like in sense of things from the beginning, to absolutely garbage at the end here. And honestly, where do you guys think he falls in terms of ranking? Because yes, this was one of the most intense battles of Dragon Ball Super ever in Dragon Ball Z history, I think. And Dragon Ball is the franchise, not in terms of like the smartest moves that they've ever pulled off, because I think the Majin Vegeta fight had some really interesting choreography as well. It was just, this one, it was, it was just so intense that it actually made up for a lot of things, but I think it could have been even better if Jiren had some more personality to him because I think for me the greatest fight in Dragon Ball Z 
was Goku versus Majin Vegeta for the sheer fact of not only just the fighting that was going on screen, but the purpose of the fight, the reason, the history behind everything between these two warriors and everything that they had between them since the very moment that they met. And that's why I would say this falls short compared to that, and that's why the rivalry that Goku and Vegeta had made a lot more sense, especially with Vegeta trying to blast the audience and Jiren trying to do a similar thing but not necessarily anywhere close to that so tell me what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys like Jiren even more or even less does this give you guys some more insight onto his character with him being low enough to attack people in the stands people that are defenseless on their knees on the ground in pain does his character stack up to hit because Hit was very similar to him, and now, in my opinion, Hit's honor and all of these things makes him much more of a likable character. The only thing Jiren has for him is power, and that's not necessarily the best thing to be rooting for because... If you can say that you like Jiren just for sole purpose of him being powerful, then you might as well say that you like Broly for the same reason. And honestly, Broly had more character depth than that in terms of history with Goku than Jiren did. So... Make sure you guys choose your words carefully in the comments. I want to see how this goes. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. All that good stuff. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Take care. Peace.